production of rotating magnetic field let us uh, discuss how to produce rotating magnetic field in the stator winding okay so in stator there is uh, stator winding that is uh, either in uh, star connection or delta connection whatever may be stator three phase winding is excited by the three phase supply a rotating magnetic field is produced in the stator winding that rotating magnetic field is rotating with the synchronous speed with the constant magnitude so let us discuss how to produce rotating magnetic field okay so the stator winding is either star connection or delta connection that means it is three phases that is r phase y phase and b phase that is r r dash y y dash and b b dash either in star or delta so when the three phase winding is excited by the three phase supply then the each winding carries a current okay and the each winding carries a current so when the current flowing in the r winding then flux is produced in the r winding that flux is denoted as pi r similarly the flux is produced in the y winding is pi y similarly the flux produced in the b winding is pi b so when the three phase stator winding is excited by the three phase supply three fluxes are produced in the stator winding that is pi r pi y and pi b and these three fluxes are sinusoidal which is sinusoidal and uh, displaced from each other by 120 degrees okay these three windings r winding b winding and y winding these three windings are displaced from each other by 120 degrees similarly three fluxes pi r and pi y and pi b is also which is sinusoidal and displaced from each other by 120 degrees apart okay so when the three phase winding is exited by three phase currents each alternating phase current produces its own flux which are sinusoidal and displaced from each other by 120 degrees so the mathematical equation for the three fluxes are that is pi r equal to pi m sin omega t that equal to pi m sin theta so similarly pi y equal to pi m sin omega t minus 120 that equal to pi m sin theta minus 120 so that equal to pi b equal to pi m sin omega t minus 240 and that equal to pi m minus sin theta minus 240 so these are the three equations for the fluxes pi r pi y and pi b and the total flux is equal to pi r plus pi y plus pi b okay and the total flux it is denoted as pi t pi suffix t so pi t equal to pi r plus pi y plus pi b and the magnitude of each flux and the magnitude of each flux is denoted as pi m okay and the magnitude of each flux is denoted as pi m so when the thief three fluxes are displaced from each other by 120 degrees means the flux produced in the y winding that is pi y is lags pi r by an angle 120 degrees similarly pi b the flux produced in the b winding that is pi b is lags pi y by 120 degrees okay so the magnitude of each flux is pi m and pi y lags behind the pi r by an angle 120 degrees similarly pi b lags behind the pi y by an angle 120 degrees so the resultant flux is pi t that is total flux pi t represents the total flux so the total flux is the phasor sum of the pi r pi y and pi b that is pi t equal to pi r plus pi y plus pi b okay so let us explain the different cases so this is the total flux this is the observing a cursor this is the waveform of three phase winding okay waveform of three phases that is pi r pi y and pi b and the flux produced in the r winding is pi r the flux produced in the y winding is pi y and the flux produced in b winding is pi b so here in the figure pi r pi y pi r so this is not pi r this is pi b okay pi r pi y and pi b okay so this is the vector diagram so the the pi y is lags behind the pi r by 120 degrees similarly pi b lags pi y by 120 degrees lags behind by pi 120 degrees that means these three windings are displaced from each other by 120 degrees so let us explain the total flux with the different instants that is 1 2 3 and 4 which represents the that means the, the one represents the, the point one represents the theta equal to 0 degrees 2 represents the theta equal to 60 degrees, 3 represents the theta equal to 120 degrees and 4 represents the theta equal to 180 degrees. Okay and so on. So let us explain only 4 cases that is 1, 
two, three, and four cases. In these four classes, we find the total flux. Okay. In these four cases, we find out the. Let us find out the total flux in these four cases. That is instant one, instant two, instant three, instant four. And these instants are represented the theta equal to. For example, the one represents the theta equal to zero degrees. Two represents the theta equal to. 60 degrees 3 represents the theta equal to 120 degrees and 4 represents the theta equal to 180 degrees okay so let us case one when theta equal to 0 degrees so when theta equal to 0 is substituted in these three equations we get the pi r equal to pi m sin 0 pi y equal to pi m sin 0 minus 120 and pi b equal to pi m sin 0 minus 240 so to calculate the equations So let the values are here. It is uh, the pi r equal to pi m sine zero. That equal to zero value. So it's pi y equal to pi m sine uh, uh, minus one twenty. Its value is minus point eight six six pi m. And pi b equal to pi m sine minus two forty. Its value equal to point eight six six pi m. So in the three, observe the these three equations. Pi r equal to zero. That means there is no flux in the R by n. At the case of theta equal to zero degrees, so in the case of theta equal to zero degrees, pi r is equal to zero. So we get only pi y and pi b. But in the equations, pi y is negative value and pi b, sorry, pi b equal to positive value. So pi y equal to minus point eight six six pi m and pi b equal to plus point eight six six pi m. So draw the vector vector diagram by using these three equations. So there is no pi r. So pi r is zero. Okay, so pi r is zero, and this is the pi b. So pi b represents the positive value, but we have the pi y value is in negative. That is minus point eight six six pi m. That negative value which represents the positive value. That means uh, it's shown in the opposite direction. So negative values are shown in opposite direction to assume the positive directions. So we already we get the pi y is in negative value. That is pi y equal to minus point eight six six pi m. This minus value is represents is assumed in represents the positive direction. So this is the pi y equal to minus point eight six six pi m. So already pi b we get the pi b value is also positive value positive values are, are assumed to positive directions but negative values are assumed to the positive directions so both are positive direction assumed in positive directions okay so this is pi b and this is pi b and this is pi y so the resultant flux the total flux is pi t so this is the resultant flux okay observe my cursor this is the resultant flux okay the resultant flux of pi b and pi y is pi t okay so note the points a b c and o okay so o a equal to pi t so let uh, bisect the o a value o a uh, from the b okay let bisect the o a from b so it represents in at the point d okay that means o a equal to pi t then O O D equal to D A equal to pi T by two. In the triangle O D B, from the triangle O D B, cos thirty equal to O D by O B. So from the triangle O D B, cos thirty equal to O D by O B. So al already we know that O D equal to pi T by two. Already we know that O D equal to D A equal to pi T by two. Substitute in this equation, and already we know that pi B equal to plus point eight six six pi m. So the O B equal to point eight six six pi m. So therefore, from this equation, we get the total flux. That is, total flux represents the pi T. Pi T equal to two into point eight six six pi m into cos thirty. So to calculate this equation, we get the total value of flux. That is, pi T equal to one point five. Pi m. So the magnitude of pi t is 1.5 pi m, and it is vertically upward at theta equal to zero degrees. So observe the total flux, resultant flux. It is vertically upward direction. Okay, observe the this resultant flux. It is vertically upward direction, and when theta equal to zero degrees, the magnitude of total flux is equal to 1.5 pi m. Okay, this is the first case. So observe the next case. That is when theta equal to 60 degrees. So when theta equal to 60 degrees, put in these equations: pi r equal to pi m sine 60, and pi y equal to 
pi m sin 60 minus 120 that is pi m sin minus 60 and pi b equal to pi m sin 60 minus 240 that is minus 180 pi r equal to pi m sin 60 that is its value is positive value plus 0.866 pi m and pi y equal to pi m sin minus 60 that is uh, theta minus 120 that is 60 minus 120 minus 60 so pi y equal to pi m sin minus 60 that equal to minus 0.866 pi m and pi b equal to pi m sin minus 180 this value is 0 so when theta equal to 60 degrees pi b equal to 0 there is no flux in the b winding okay when theta equal to 0 degrees pi r equal to 0 when theta equal to 60 degrees pi b equal to 0 observe the pi r is assumed positive value so the positive values are assumed in positive direction but we get the pi y value is in negative value so the negative value is assumed in positive direction okay so the angle between the pi y and pi r is 60 degrees and the resultant flux of pi y and pi r resultant flux of pi y and pi r is total flux pi t and again the noted the points a b c o and similar previous uh, as same as previous uh, calculation so bisects the pi t from the point b so note the point d so uh, the o a equal to total flux pi t and o d equal to d a equal to pi t by 2 and from the triangle b o d <coughs> And the triangle from the triangle B O D cos 30 equal to O D by O B. Okay, cos 30 equal to O D by O B. So cos 30 equal to O D means pi T by 2 by O D means O B means 0.866 pi M. Okay, 0.866 pi M. So therefore, from the calculation, we get the again same value. So therefore, total flux pi t equal to 1.5 pi m. So total flux pi t equal to 1.5 pi m. So that means when the when the second case that is the theta equal to 60 degrees case when the theta equal to 60 degrees, the magnitude of the total flux is same. That is 1.5 pi m. Okay. When the theta equal to 0 degrees, the magnitude of the total flux is 1.5 pi m. And also, when theta equal to 60 degrees also, the magnitude of the total flux is also 1.5 pi m. But uh, in this, uh, when the theta equal to 0 degrees, the total flux is vertically upward direction. But in uh, uh, when theta equal to 60 degrees, the, the total flux, the resultant flux is rotating 60 degrees clockwise direction as previous, as compared to the previous value. Okay. So, in previous, that is when theta equal to 60 degrees, theta equal to 0 degrees, the total flux, the resultant flux is vertically upward direction. Okay. When theta equal to 60 degrees, it rate is rotating 60 degrees clockwise direction as compared to the previous value. So when theta equal to 120 degrees, put in the theta equal to 120 degrees in these three equations. So we get the pi r equal to pi m sin 120 that equal to plus 0.866 pi m and pi y equal to pi m sin 0 that equal to that is 120 minus 120 sin 0 that equal value is 0. So pi b equal to pi m sin uh, 120 minus, minus 240. So that is 120. So pi b equal to pi m sin minus 120 that is value is minus 0 0.866 pi m. So when theta equal to 120 degrees put in the theta equal to 120 degrees in these three equation finally we get pi r equal to plus value positive value of 0 0.866 pi m and pi y equal to 0 and pi b equal to minus 0 0.866 pi m. So pi y is 0. So pi r is again we get the pi r value is positive direction 0 0.866 pi m. So positive values are assumed to be positive directions only, but we get the pi b value is in negative value that is minus 0 0.866 pi m. So this negative value is assumed to be positive direction. So draw the opposite side. So the angle the resultant between the resultant flux of pi r and pi b is total flux pi t so this is the total flux pi t and note the points a b c and o and again previous procedure uh, bisect the total flux bisect the total flux from b point the note the point d so therefore o a equal to pi t so then o d equal to d a equal to pi t by 2 okay so angle triangle o b d 
from the triangle OBD cos 30 equal to OD by OB. So we know that OD equal to pi t by 2 substitute in this equation and also we know that pi b equal to 0 0.866 pi m substitute in this equation. So finally we get the again pi t equal to 1.5 pi m. So that means when theta equal to 0 degrees the magnitude of the total flux is 1.5 pi m and also when theta equal to 60 degrees the magnitude of total flux is 1.5 pi m and when theta equal to 120 degrees also the magnitude of the total flux is 1.5 pi m so that means the magnitude of the total flux is doesn't change that means the constant magnitude but when theta equal to 0 degrees the total flux the direction of the total flux is vertically upward when theta equal to 60 degrees the the direction of the total flux is rotating clockwise direction of uh, that 60 degrees as compared to the previous value when theta equal to 120 degrees the uh, total flux is rotating also clockwise direction as compared to the previous value okay in these three cases the magnitude of the total flux is constant but the resultant flux is rotating clockwise direction when theta equal to 0 degrees, when theta equal to 60 degrees, when theta equal to 120 degrees, when theta equal to 180 degrees also, the con the magnitude of the total flux is 1.5 pi m. So, the magnitude of total flux is doesn't change. Okay. Its value is constant. But it rotates clockwise direction as uh, 60 degrees as compared to the previous value in these cases. Okay. So, con con conclusion of uh, this uh, production of rotating magnetic field is the resultant of the three alternating fluxes that is pi r, pi y and pi b are separated from each other by 120 degrees and which are sinusoidal and it has constant amplitude in all cases that is 1.5 pi m. So, the amplitude of uh, the magnitude of the each flux is 1.5 pi m. So, in all cases, the magnitude is doesn't change. That means constant magnitude. It has the constant amplitude of 1.5 pi m, but the flux is rotating with the constant speed. Okay, but the flux is rotating with the constant speed. So, the constant speed is for a standard frequency of the speed of rotating magnetic field is called synchronous speed. When the three phase stator winding is excited by the three phase supply, the rotating magnetic field is produced in the stator winding and that rotating magnetic field is rotating with the synchronous speed with the constant magnet. So, synchronous speed is denoted as Ns, capital N suffixes Ns equal to 120 F by P, where F equal to frequency and P equal to number of poles. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe.